In the beginning, there was Earth. Paradise. An unspoiled sanctuary of beauty. The only place in the known universe capable of creating and sustaining life. Before humans came along, the Earth was in perfect harmony, right? Well, not quite. The Earth has always been home to chaos and violence constantly changing through what can be a brutal process of trial and error. We are a product of this evolution. The first and only species so far capable of replicating nature's uncanny power of creation. And destruction. Over time, we have literally changed the face of the Earth. So much so that the harm we've done seems irreversible. We are told that the Earth is dying and we must save it. It's a heroic notion, but it hasn't been very effective in changing our behavior so far. Nor is it true. The Earth isn't in danger. Not yet. It has survived through far worse than this, but it is changing. We are in danger. Mass extinction has happened on Earth before, and because of our actions, it is on the verge of happening again, which means changing our actions moving forward is the one thing that can prevent our extinction. Our best chance for survival lies in continuing to imitate nature, drawing inspiration from its awesome power. Consider mycelium, a mass of filaments beneath the soil that allows the natural world to distribute nutrients and information without a central brain. It's not so different from the internet which allows us to share ideas and work to form a common vision for a shared future. Most of us understand intellectually that we are connected to each other and our fate is tied to our planet. But now that we have the means and knowledge to effect change, we have to act. We've already found many of the answers we need in the natural world. The process of changing the Earth back into a place that will support us is well underway. Progress is being made, and there is reason to be optimistic. The more we do, the more the Earth will help rebuild and remake itself. What is needed is a concerted effort. This isn't a challenge that just a few countries or world leaders can fix on their own. It's going to take all of us through actions large and small. One day very soon, we'll be asked what did we do? And we'll say, we did everything we could. We have to. Because if we don't, there won't be anyone left to ask. We have never faced a crisis this big, but we have never had better ideas to solve it. This is our only home. You can choose today
to make a world of difference.